Hi, I'm Juliet. Gary Oldman directed a music video for a Jewish hip-hop band, which he shot entirely on cell phones. He asked me to direct the making of, and when I saw the footage that I'd gotten, I realized I had a unique perspective into Gary's creative process. I approached him and asked if it could develop into a short documentary film. In these interviews, I'm talking to other artists who I admire about their creative process, and like Take Flight, hopefully shedding some light and showing them a little bit differently than they've been seen. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your process as an artist with tattooing and as a photographer. With tattooing, it's, it's a lot different than with photography. I think like with tattooing, it's always gonna be a collaborative experience. E even if um, the client says like, hey, do, do whatever you want, you know, you still have to find some kind of middle ground. And for me, like as an artist, I guess it's important to um, like make each piece like suit the person. And so um, that requires a collaboration, which I, I love that, you know? Most of the time people getting tattooed aren't doing it because they're bored. It's usually a pretty monumental moment in their life that they want to mark themselves forever. So, you know, there's a def definite like heavy exchange of energy. But as far as photography stuff goes, like, I, I don't know, I've always been a b firm believer in like cutting out the middleman as much as possible, you know, and just, I love learning the process of things and, um, you know, whether it's music, art, or whatever. Were you always artistic? I believe in such thing as innate talent to a certain degree. I think um, a lot of it has to do with like your upbringing and how much practice you put into something and obviously an individual's drive. Like I was blessed with parents who were quite um, uh, disciplinary types, you know, so um, you know we weren't really brought up with TV or um, a lot of the stuff that um, you know kids have the luxury of having and so um, you know we had more things like piano and we were all classical. My brother and my sister and I were classical classically trained since we were since I was six so aside from that like my parents really nurtured um, art in the family and so um, we all really drew you know and I think um, putting in that time and that practice I mean I'm constantly drawing if I ever get a second I'm always drawing something so um, you know obviously you tend to gravitate towards the things that you love the most as you you know get older and for me it was tattooing which is not a very typical you know road to travel for artists and um, but thankfully I'm able to do other things with that as well. What is the project you've worked on that you felt was the most like a kid playing? I think that the projects that give me that, that feeling um, are ones where you have creative freedom, you know, and um, it doesn't even necessarily have to be tattooing. Like the other day I, I was at home and um, since my hand's been injured I haven't really been able to tattoo as much as I usually do and I was like, man, I'm just gonna draw for no particular reason and I drew this portrait, it was like a profile of, um, you know, my goal was to make the most wrinkly textured face that I could make possibly and uh, uh, using a few different references and stuff. It was so fulfilling, you know, there was no boundaries, no expectations and um, no criticism, which is I think um, probably, you know, the three biggest enemies for me to have that feeling of um, being a child and doing whatever, enjoying it for the sole purpose of art. Take Flight shows Gary in a way he hasn't ever been seen. What do you think is the biggest misconception about you? I think that um, most people would be surprised to know like how nerdy I am, you know, which I embrace my inner nerd and uh, how much of a hermit I am. I think um, as much as I feel comfortable around people, I definitely also prefer my solitude a lot. So um, in the end, I'm just like, a giant hopeless romantic and I think most people would probably think I'm like some tough chick Jeez. like rock and roll like you know yeah and it's it's just more uh, I don't know I um, enjoy the simple things like nature when something comes together for you as an artist what does that feel like I guess it could be compared to well I mean I don't know I've never had a baby but maybe kind of like having a baby because um, as much like blood sweat and tears that goes into you know, a fulfilling project. I think that um, it's just as, a, I mean, gratifying in, in, the, in the end, you know? We get a rare POV and take flight as Gary operates one of the cell cams that we would never get with a traditional camera. It's like being inside his head and seeing through his eyes. If I gave you a cell cam, what would we see? Probably interesting angles of things in a different perspective. I mean, I stare aimlessly at a lot of things, uh, churches and um, trees, I love trees a lot. Um, but again, I think uh, my goal, I think, in life is just to revert back towards nature. And where I live, it's, it's, 
it looks like I live in like a secluded little forest, so um, I think you'd probably see a lot of stuff like that. Maybe like um, I don't know, detailed shots of nature. Those are things that are inspiring. And taxidermy. <laughs> I have a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you have? I, I just have like a huge a collection of taxidermy. I've always like uh, collected um, animals that have you know died of natural causes. But um, yeah, my house is like I have my entire living room is all wolves and. I have like a bear, a porcupine, two penguins. Um, I have all my albino taxidermy at the office. So yeah, I have like a bunch of really weird, cool stuff. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's you awesome. Come over. I want to see. <laughs> that sounds intense. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so I have this film, and it's about Gary Oldman, Jewish hip hop, and cell phones. How do you think I should market it? I, I know that for me, like what has worked for me has always been just keeping it as honest and real as possible. And um, I think it sounds like an eclectic, um, you know, I guess amount of styles in there. <laughs> so um, I don't know, maybe like um, doing something viral, I think like, um, especially considering that you're using a lot of like cell phone technology, this uh, sounds like that would be, you know, in the right road to go down.